Hi everyone, this is Marilyn Love, Hayes County Master Gardener, and I'm here at the Kyle Library Pollinator Garden today to plant this wonderful perennial plant called the Henry Duelberg Salvia. It's one of my very favorite perennials in all of Central Texas. You might ask why is it one of my favorites? because number one, it's a perennial, which means I don't have to spend time and money replanting every season. And secondly, I get to look at these lovely purple blossoms, which will get even longer and taller. All season long, this thing produces beautiful flowers. Another great thing is that it's very disease and pest resistant. So I don't have to worry about it getting sick and dying on me, basically. It's also drought tolerant, and in terms of my yard, one of the best things is the deer don't like it. That's important in Central Texas. So today I want to talk about three things. Where to plant this in your garden, when to plant, and how to plant. So let's talk first about where to plant. This Henry Duelberg salvia is a full sun, very well drained soil plant. So it needs a sunny location with at least six full hours of sun a day, but it can handle all day sun, even in our Texas scorching heat in the summer. Well-drained soil because Henry doesn't like wet feet, okay? He needs to have his roots dry out between every watering. So if you live in the part of this Kyle and Hayes County where you have a lot of rock and not a lot of soil, he'll love it, okay? Because that's well-drained. If you happen to live where you have blackland prairie, then you might want to put him in a raised bed or a berm because he's not going to like all the water that the clay holds. He needs to have dry feet. Um, here at the Kyle Butterfly Garden today, I'm planting him right in the center of the garden where I feel he will have sun almost all day. And I'm planting him near some other Henry Duelbergs that are starting to come back from last year, so he'll join the crowd. He'll join the family. Okay, so when to plant. The two best times of the year to plant, early March through mid-May or maybe late May, or alternatively, in the month of October or November. The reason is that those are the cooler times of the month when the plant doesn't have to be stressed by a lot of heat. We also are more likely to get a little rain then, and you won't have to water as often. That way the roots get established before that terrible summer heat comes along. So try planting in the spring or in the fall. Give them a chance to get started well. Okay, so now let's talk about how to plant. I'm gonna kneel down here and show you that I have pre-dug the hole. I dug the hole a little deeper and a little wider than the pot that the plant came in. So you can see right now, it sits well down in the hole. And I don't know if you can see, but I have about an inch of space all the way around the plant. And I sit it down a little low because what I like to do is I like to take some of the soil that I dug from the hole and mix it with some nice finished compost that I have. I feel like this gives the plant a little head start with some organic fertilizer just to help it be healthy, the leaves be darker green and for it to flower more often. So I mix this about 50-50 and now I'm gonna pour some in the hole not all of this, this is probably too much, but um, I'm gonna pour about an inch or two in the bottom of the hole. And then I'm gonna pack it down real tight. Okay, so now comes the time to take our plant out of the pot. I like to squeeze the pot around a little, loosen it up. And then I, I gently grab the base of the plant and wiggle it out, okay? You can tell this plant has not been in the pot that long because it doesn't have a lot of roots wrapping around. If you see that with a potted plant that you try to transplant, take a, uh, an X-Acto knife and do some shallow vertical cuts if the roots are wrapping around and around and around. But this one's not that way. So I'm just gonna loosen everything a little bit with my hands and then I'm gonna sit it down in the hole Okay, that looks good. So I'm not going to go above right here when I fill this in. This is the dirt that I dug from the hole 
So I'm going to go around, I'm going to push it down in there really hard. I do not want any air pockets in here, okay? Now I also really recommend mulch. It really helps protect the soil from the cold and from the heat. And that way it helps protect your roots. They don't fry down under there and they're not as likely to freeze. So now it's time to water. Let's talk a minute about watering. I have a watering can full of water here and um, I'm just gonna water the base of the plant really, really well. I don't like to get the leaves wet. Henry Duelberg is not very disease prone, but some perennials will get uh, downy mildew or other diseases if the leaves are moist all the time. So it's best to water down at the base of the plant and let it roll in, don't let it run off. Not so often, but really deep when you do water. You want the roots to grow deep. If you water shallow, they're gonna to try to grow shallow and then they'll be very susceptible to the heat and the cold in the winter. This thing, uh, probably by the end of the summer, it's gonna be about two feet by two feet with the blossoms going even taller. They make really nice cut flowers. And at full size, it'll be about three feet by three feet, okay? And they will fill in this one will make a few babies okay so it'll really really fill your area in so just keep that in mind when you plant them that it's going to fill in okay so sit back enjoy all summer you see, should see blossoms on this lovely henry Dulberg.